right, hello Facebook. Well, it's uh, it's Sunday, it's one o'clock. That means what? It's time for Savior Hill Sunday. And notice, I'm here on the floor. Um, in fact, we're gonna do some stuff on the floor. If you see the hashtags, today is intention, movement, intentional movement, actually. Um, that's right. We're gonna start doing some movement. We're gonna start playing around in the gym. So get ready. So I'm Clint Fuquay, I'm the health engineer. Uh, we're gonna talk about some engineering. We're gonna talk about some planks and some bridges and stuff today. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, being intentional with movement and intention and tension and being in tension whenever you're doing stuff. Um, because, well, if you didn't know this already, everything in here, all this extra stuff, is actually, it's, well, you're using this thing, okay? This thing tells this thing what to do, right? So you can't be mindless about your exercise, about your workouts. You can't be brainless about it either, okay? You have to use this thing. To make all this other stuff happen, okay? Because otherwise, you come in and you do things without thought, without intention, and uh, you know you're just doing stuff. And next thing you go, oh, 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 I, I get injured. Oh, I get injured. How'd that happen? Well, because you weren't thinking, you weren't using, you weren't using your head, okay? You're just coming in, moving around, and you know, doing well, doing random idiocy, okay? Essentially, so which leads to a lot of injuries in here. Normally that's what happens when somebody gets injured. Either A, they're pushing way too much, way too soon, uh, or they're maxing out on something when they really shouldn't be maxing out on something because, I mean, seriously, come on, why are you maxing out? It's not high school. Um, you're, you're not a power lifter, are you? Are you, are you? are you being paid, you know, thousands to tens of thousands or hundreds, hundreds of thousands to lift weights? No, then why are you maxing out and trying to realize maxing out is, is the number one time you're going to get injured. Why? Because you are lifting maximally, you're, you're pushing your absolute limit, okay? Which means something, if, if everything is not perfect, something's going to break, something's going to happen, some bad's going to happen. So let's, uh, let's move away from that and let's talk about uh, moving with intention and being intentional with, with, with your movements and purposeful. So even if you go out to take a walk, okay, just walking along is fine, it's great for some stress reduction. But you also want to have some intention there. You want to do something with it. You want to focus on, on the strides while you're walking. You want to be going heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. You want the chest up. You want to be breathing through your diaphragm, okay? Not breathing through the chest. You want to be breathing through uh, through, through your diaphragm and using TVA and all that stuff. This way, while you're working on your posture, okay, you're going to be lengthening things, okay? Your hamstrings, you get to lengthen out. Your hip flexors, you get to lengthen out. Everything gets to lengthen out. Everything gets to move. Okay, arms are swinging. You're not just, you know, waddling along like a penguin. Okay, um, <laughs> so if you start there, you know, try to extend everything out, right? But be intentional with your movements. Even if you're going, just taking a walk, or just taking a jog, or if you're going to run, runners, runners. Seriously, be intentional when you run. Okay, focus on your form. To really focus on your form, because I see you out here. Okay. I see you out there running down the road, and you may start off nice and pretty, but a little bit a little ways in, this is happening, okay? I'm telling you, you're running yourself into the ground when you're doing that. Focus on when your form starts to go away, that's time to start backing up. That's when you start slowing down. That's when you get back and have some intention with what you're doing, and you know, you're training, okay? If you're going to do it, do it well. Do it properly. Okay, uh, stay in form as much as you can whenever you're doing it because it's, it's going to reduce stress. It's going to reduce strain overall. Okay, it's not going to be easier. Okay, but it's going to reduce strain. It's going to reduce stress. It's going to reduce the chances of you having an injury, having uh, sciatic issues, having foot issues, having hip issues, having spine issues, uh, having brain damage later on. Okay, um, so just to preface this, you know, running. Okay, if you're out running and you've got bad form and you're doing this every time with every step, what is that? It's the same as going into a boxing ring and getting this, taking a jab. Bam, bam, bam. That's all you're, you're taking jabs every time, okay? How much, how much brain damage do you get whenever you're boxing? Same thing happens when you run, okay? Uh, is if you're just, if you turn into a big bobblehead, all right? So realize, just have some intention when you do these things, all right? Uh, and then... Well, in here, in the gym, lots of intention <laughs> is happening, okay, because everything is in tension. Literally, everything's in, it's all the muscles. See that? It's, it, it's in tension. 
It's not intention. No, it's intention. Okay, right? A lot of that happens in here. <laughs> Why? Because we're training things. We're training this thing a lot. Okay? You haven't ever seen the EMG study whenever somebody's working out? The entire brain lights it. Literally, everything lights up in your brain because there's so much intention going on. Especially, I mean, I talked about the whole powerlifting thing. Whenever you have something like that where you have this monumental amount of neural energy going through your body, everything lights up. Okay? Everything. Um, so I mean, you feel like you tr you look like a big light bulb is what happens, okay? Uh, especially the brain, everything lights up. So this is actually good for your brain. It is really, truly, it's huge for your brain, for brain health, especially changing your pattern. So if you're doing the same workout every time you come in, stop that, quit it, make some make some progress, make some improvement, change some weights, change your rep scheme, change the intention of what you're doing. Um, and that's as easy as like putting your finger on something. Seriously, just hear me out on this, try this out. Fun little project for you. Okay, next time you're in here, you're doing the knee extensions. Don't hate on the knee extensions, no, they're not going to destroy your knees. Unless you're doing stupid amounts of weight on there and maxing out on it, it's not going to destroy your knees. No, it's not. Um, when done properly, okay. Um, but next time you're on there and you're doing the whole knee extension thing, okay, you're sitting here and you're doing the whole knee extension, put a finger on the outside, not outside your quad, put a finger on the middle, put a finger on the inside, and, well, here's, actually, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, figure out just for yourself, I want you to feel this, because everything's going to change in that exercise, where you're going to feel it is going to change, the dynamics of the exercise are going to change, why, because you're now pinpointing, you're telling your brain, I want to fire this muscle more. And you'll start to fire that muscle more. And you say, I want to fire this one more. Now I want to fire this one more. So you want to train different heads of, of, your, of your quad or your calf or bicep or anything like that? Well, guess what? That's the magic trick to doing it, okay? Um, point out to your body, I want this one right here, okay? Um, and it does work if everything's lined up properly. Because uh, there, there's, well, there's force vectoring and elastic. I don't want to get into the science of it. Anyway, so... <laughs> Try that. So th that's intention, okay? Do everything with intention. If you don't know what that means, uh, and you don't really know how to do this stuff, well, guess what? That's why we have, <laughs> you know, we, we get trainers, okay? Uh, more importantly, we have health engineers, which I'm going to talk about some engineering stuff here in a second when it comes to exercise and intention. Uh, this, that's why I'm down here on the ground, all right? If you want to, take a seat with me, because you can join in with what we're about to do here in a second. Like I said, bridges and planks. Just get ready. You're finally going to get to see me do, do some work instead of just the cool pictures with the, you know, with the socks and stuff uh, where I'm in there playing around after the workout. So, um, but yeah, have intention uh, for, for your workouts. Have a plan when you come in, okay? What's your purpose for that workout? What's your plan for that day? What are you doing? If you don't know, get a trainer so they can make help you create a plan, all right? That's part of it. They should help you create a plan, okay? They may have their patented glute blaster workout thing. That's great. That's not really a plan for you. That's their plan. Are their plans your plans? No, you have your plans. You have your life. Um, make sure you have a trainer that fits into that, okay? Uh, I mean, if you want great glutes, then yeah, sure, go for their you know, patented glute blaster thing. Um, make sure they know what they're doing with that, okay? Um, so, but, because um, you doing too much stuff on the glutes, guess what? You're going to have major hip problems, and then you're going to have to come see me to correct those. Because, um, well, I mean, I, I engineer, right? So let's get into the, into the meat of this, and let's talk about, let's talk about bridges and planks, because I know people out there are doing, like, plank challenges and stuff all the time and squat challenges. I see these things through my, through my timeline because I watch everything, all right? Um, <laughs> so here, 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 here's a little difference between a glute or okay, a glute, between a bridge bridge and a plank, okay? Um, and this is from an exercise standpoint and an engineering standpoint and just a an intention standpoint, okay? Bridges are made for, well, holding stuff for long term, okay? Think about it. You drive over a bridge. These things are made to one. stay up Bye -bye. for years and decades and centuries, okay? They disperse weight over the, over the entire expanse of the bridge, okay? They've got Buttressing, all kinds of stuff, okay? So you see all the cables and the wires, and you also see that they are, they have that little shape right there, right? They're not flat. Every 
every one of them has a little bit of a curve built into it. Why? It distributes force, all right? So that's a bridge. And most people that do planking are actually doing bridges. That's right, you're bridging. Why? Because you're doing the five minute planks and 10 minute plank, and I'm doing this long plank. You're not doing a plank, you're doing a bridge, okay? You're doing a bridge, you're doing something that structurally is very sound, and you're not using a whole, I mean, you're using energy, but you're not using near as much energy, okay? You're, you're trying to reduce your energy ex expenditure so you can stay up longer and longer and longer and longer, okay? You're going for efficiency, okay? That is, yeah, camber. Um, that, that is a bridge. A plank, a plank is very short and very intense. And here's the best description for a plank for you, okay? Get ready, okay? Get ready. Arm it, get to walk the plank, okay? Short is intense, okay? Planks are like six feet, all right? When you're walking a plank, you got you got Captain Jack over here. Captain Jack's very all right. Uh, you got his little parrot and everything else. Got the other guys behind him. They got the guns. Just walk the plank, right? It's short and intense. Okay, planks are short and highly, highly intense. Okay, so just to clarify, bridges, long term planks, very short, very intense. I'm going to show you the difference back here. Okay, um, with all that stuff. I'm going to have a taste of drink right quick. Mm. So, are you ready? Jump in here with me if you want to. We're going to have some fun with this. And so, so you can feel the difference. Okay? I want you to feel the difference here. So whenever you are doing these plank challenges, you realize you're just building bridges and you're not walking planks. Okay? So, here we go. Alright, so we're going to be here. Um, I'm going to start off on uh, elbows and knees. So, Anybody that hasn't done a plank before, start off low, okay? Uh, even on bridges, start low, all right? So, here we go. Uh, this is going to be on the knees and on the elbows, and I've got just enough room here to do it. Okay, so, we're right here. In fact, you know what? Y'all are going to like this, so I want y'all to see everything working. So, yeah, we're, sorry. We're doing shortlist. I know. Cool. Break out the doll wheels. All right, cool. So, here you go. So, we're going to be here. Because I want you to see everything working here. Oh, yeah, by the way, cool. Log shorts, right? <clears throat> Check out my company, Kinesi. So, we're going to start here. We're going to be on the, on the elbows and on the knees. Now, a plank is going to be here, okay? Everything's tucked in. Hips are tucked under. Shoulders are back. Everything's nice and neutral. Abs and nose are very tight. Lower back's tight. And you're here, okay? Working. A bridge, we're going to have you here. Why? Because you can hold a bridge for a long time. Seriously, I can sit here for an hour. I'm not going to be here for now, all right? But this would be a bridge, all right? Butts up, hips, hips are up. Got some camber there. Thank you, Donna. She is an engineer, by the way. Or you got a plank, which when you're here, you're not dispersing load very well, okay? You got a lot of load on you. You're holding everything. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you want to create some more intention here for the abs, what you do is you take your elbows and you pull your elbows down towards your knees and knees towards your elbows. And notice, see how everything tightens up? Relaxed. Still planking. Plank with intention. Okay? That's when Captain Jack and all the boys point some guns at you and say, walk the plank, right? There's that. You can go up here too. Okay? Same difference. So we're going to be here. This is the plank. Okay? Nice. Straight. Everything's straight angles. Okay? Notice shoulders right over the hands. Alright? Hips are tucked. This is going to be a bridge. This is what you see everybody doing when we're doing this plank thing, okay? And you're here, and that's it. I can stay here for an hour. If you're here, you're not going to be here for very long. It's short as it's intense. If you want to make it even more intense, you take those hands. Pull the hands. Pull the feet towards the hands. Whew. And if you can do that for more than 30 seconds, you're a beast. <laughs> so... Hopefully you followed along with some of that, and you had some fun, and you realize that when things are in tension, and things are done intentionally, oh man, they're a lot harder, they burn a whole lot more calories, a tremendous amount of calories in fact, that's why after a workout, if you want to burn extra for, you know, like 72 hours or more, you do things with major intention, because, well, if you didn't know, if you didn't know this, your brain, I wrote an article about this, your brain actually burns about 450 calories a day. 
okay? Just your brain, <laughs> by itself, burns close to 450 calories a day. When you're doing more of this and you're doing more neural, more neuro neurological stimulation when you're working out, think about how much more energy your, your entire nervous system is burning, okay? So your, meta your metabolic rate has to rise, it has to go up, just to get you to, uh, to re-energize yourself, okay? Which also means, what? You need to be drinking lots of electrolytes, people. Stay hydrated, get your electrolytes, seriously. Uh, why? So you can stay lit up all the time, because if you don't, your energy levels are gonna dip down, and you're gonna do one day of hard intention on a workout, and you're gonna, you'll be wiped out for three or four days. Not so much physically. I mean, physically, yeah, you'll be tired, but neurologically, you're going to be just completely wiped out. That's why if you're doing, like, powerlifting, okay, if you're going specifically for strength, you're going to need, like, three to five minutes between lifts because there's so, more, so much neurological stress. It takes that long for your nervous system to recover, not your muscles. Your muscles are good after two minutes, okay? They're pumped. They're ready. Okay, glycogen is back in there. They're ready to go. Your nervous system, however, saying, whoa, hold on, man. Give me a second, okay? 35 minutes on, on nervous system. If you're just going for, for cardiovascular health, stuff like that, yeah, you're going, but there's not a whole lot of neurological stress going on. Now, once you start inc increasing neurological stress, the amount of time that you're working out drops. That's right. So, sprints, short and intense, just like planks, okay? Sprints are the planks of the running world, okay? I like sprints, okay? They're quick, they're faster, they're intense, they're short, right? Um, so, there's that. That was, I'm going to keep it short today. Short and intense, okay? So this is the first one for the movement, uh, which I'm going to be throwing some of these in here. So it's not going to be all movement all the time. It's not going to be, uh, we'll do some stuff in here, we'll do some stuff in the kitchen, all right? Uh, and we'll do some stuff in the chair. I'm going to be moving around, so... We're gonna do some do some stuff up here to get your mind right. We're gonna do some stuff down here and in the gym to get your body right. And then we're gonna do some stuff in the kitchen to well get you fed well, right? So thank you for joining me. This is Save Your Health Sunday right here every Sunday one o'clock. Uh, I'm Clint, the, the health engineer. By the way, uh, check out my other page, uh, the health en engineer, because I'm gonna start doing some special stuff on there. Um, I'm going, start, I'm going to start doing some throwbacks. So I've got tons of videos on, on YouTube. I'm going to start posting those on there. So get ready. I've got a full 120-day series that I did a couple years ago. I'm going to re, reintroduce that uh, to everybody. So get ready for everything on, on the Health Engineer. A lot of stuff is going to be coming on there. Uh, get ready for, for Kinesi. Okay, seriously, this stuff is fantastic. I'll post the link down below so you can see what we're doing with Kinesi and the lock and active cotton. Why? Because we want to get all the toxins out of you and off of you. Um, <laughs> if you're wearing that plastic stuff, whew, man, it's, it's making you fat. It really is. It's, it's holding all that extra stuff in. So um, there's that. Hope you, had a good, hope you uh, enjoyed today. Come back next week. And uh, we'll probably be back on the couch next week. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, come back. You, you never know what you're going to get. It's going to be fun, right, though? And, uh, but yeah, get ready for more moving stuff because you're going to be moving with me. And if you really want to move with me, you want me to help you show you how to move better and more efficiently with intention uh, for, for good, good things for your future, come see me, clintfuquay.com. Uh, of course, I'm here at PhysioFit. I know I don't have any Physio stuff, fit st stuff behind me because, you know, new place. So there's that. Have a good day. And, uh, well, keep moving because if you're not moving, you're standing, you're standing still, right?